two nothing and we are now joined by the injured Mark Gregg and first off Marco what were your thoughts of the first two periods I think it's been a pretty exciting game thus far uh, Houston definitely came out with some jump uh, which after the last game we felt we needed and uh, so far it's developed pretty good for us and that jump that you talk about it seems that the arrows forwards are a lot more physical tonight is that benefiting them by getting those good scoring chances oh no question anytime you can take the body and eliminate one of their players and beat them back to the net uh, gives you opportunities to score goals and it's one of the things we talked about uh, before the game and uh, so far it's gone pretty well the one player that has stood out tonight already is bill bowler he has a goal and an assist he seems to be making those beautiful passes out there tonight well, if you give Billy time with possession, uh, he's going to make the right play, and it seems to me he's found uh, a lot of different situations out there tonight where he's had some room and some uh, guys that he can find late, and uh, he's found them. I know that you'd love to be out there tonight, especially when Bill Bowler's passing the puck like that, but you do have that foot injury, and, and how tough was it to last night flying back from Las Vegas with that injury? Well, it seemed to cause me a lot of problems because uh, the pressure started to develop, and uh, we had it taped up, so we were... Uh, fighting a lot of pain with that but uh, the painkillers finally kicked in when we got back on the ground and uh, I got through the night and you went to the hospital uh, today well, what were the results uh, out here in Kansas City well the first x-ray we took uh, obviously uh, was negative the, the foot's not broken but uh, now we're into a situation where what kind of uh, bone bruise is going to develop and uh, after the first 48 to 72 hours they can decide whether or not a bone scans needed uh, to see if there's a stress fracture and uh, those are the two things we're looking at right now did jerry mines uh, or anyone give you a timetable on your return well i think the next 72 hours is going to decide a lot and uh, after those three days i think we can maybe start to make some decisions whether or not we need a bone scan or how long this day-to-day -day bone bruise will take thanks a lot mark thank you and we'll be back with more from kemper arena